What's up, guys? It's been a while since I've done any vlogging from my truck, so I uh, figured I would do a little talking today. Hey, everybody, it's our friend, my Uh Coming back from Lowe's again, I like that store. But uh, gotta build the wife a shelf in the garage. And I basically said, well, that's fine. If I'm building you a shelf in the garage, I'm building me a workbench. So I got a whole tray, truck full of uh, lumber back there, and I'm gonna go home and uh, freaking try to be a builder. So he bought me a new uh, cordless set back there because uh, my stuff's all shit. You know, I always buy the cheap stuff, and you know, and you never get ahead with that. So I, I bought. Uh, I didn't. I, I wanted to go to Walt. I wanted to because I like the kind, but. Uh, the DeWalt kit I wanted was like 600 bucks, and I got this kit for like 120 bucks. So I thought, well, you know, Quarter Cable is not a bad brand. We'll see how it works. And even if it only lasts me a fifth of the time that the DeWalt stuff would have, I'm still, I guess, not losing money. So I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, uh, I don't regret this purchase. Uh, but you know, in the past. But I've had Craftsman stuff, and the, the drills hold up, but the batteries are just shit. And, uh, they just don't last. So I went with the 18 volt, and uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But anyway, uh, you know, it's that time of year. There ain't much going on holidays, so I've just been freaking going like crazy. Christmas shopping on the internet. Spent all day on the internet yesterday, freaking buying stuff for everybody, and got my dad, well, actually I bought me and my dad a cannon, one of those signal cannons, and uh, I can't wait to shoot that off, I went, actually I went and bought some gunpowder today, I might shoot that off today if I get bored, maybe, uh, you know, I don't know, throw some powder in there and see if it can't blow something up, but that ought to be exciting, so I uh, look forward to that, hopefully uh, I keep my arms on my, on my body. Anyway, uh, when I get home, I'll show you my garage and what my project's going to entail, and then uh, I'll do a before and after shot. All right, so we're back home. I'm going to show you my garage. Now, I personally, I know a lot of people pack their garages so full of shit that you can't even park in them. I just don't get that. What, what's the point of having a garage? If I got that much shit, I'm going to go get a, a storage shed or something. So I like my garage to park in, but here's what I got. I'm getting too much shit. So, my garage is getting full, and I, ain't, I can't park my truck in here right now. So I started on a workbench back there in the corner, and I'm going to finish that today. But this wall, I'm getting rid of all this crap over here, and I'm putting shelves all along this wall, all the way up to the ceiling, and then over here where I've just kind of pieced stuff together, I'm going to build some shelves over here and some new shelves back there, and hopefully all this stuff will have a new home. So, we'll see how it goes. Oh, so check it out guys, it's taking me a few hours, but I got the frame done. I'm starting to put the, sh the plywood on the shelves now, so I did, uh, what I did is a couple, two feet between each shelf on the top, because that's uh, those totes that everybody uses, they're like 18 inches, so just a little, little extra room in between, and then I got like 40 inches underneath, and that'll fit like my, oh well, you can't see it because it's back there, but my fryer and my two smokers and and I think this dresser might even fit under there and if I got room I might stick under there because that thing is really nice for just throwing screws and crap in so I don't know it's coming along I'm, I'm I guess I'm finally starting to figure out how to be a carpenter because it's actually everything looks nice and it's going together nice and I think having the right tools helps because I bought like I said I bought a air nailer kit and there's the rest of it last time I went to Lowe's and then I bought this Porter cable kit. I found out that saw. Um, I tried to rip my plywood with that saw, and it wouldn't do it. That's uh, three-quarter inch plywood. I had to go back to the electric saw. So I know it's a trim saw, and uh, it's definitely just for trim. Oh well, beg my pardon. Oh, for sakes, guys! I'm working so hard, I keep forgetting to do updates. So look, I got the shelf all done. Stuff all moved. I like it. Put a lot more stuff over there, and now I'm starting on a workbench area back here. 
So hopefully I can get this done tonight. Oh man, I'm whooped. Oh man, look, it's dark outside. I've been working at this a long time, but I'm almost done. Look, the wife's car's in there. Got that tall shelf all done, and got the workbench area all done, and got my shelf up here. <clears throat> I just got to finish. I'm going to redo these shelves up here, and uh, probably do something under here for like tools and stuff. So it's coming along. I like it. Got to figure out what to do with my wife's bike. I don't want to put it next to my bike because then I'll have to duck to get to my toolbox and I don't want to put it behind her car because we'll have to duck to go inside so I don't know I might try to stick it up under here or something if it will fit next to my truck we'll see oh that's today hopefully I get it finished tomorrow all right guys so it only took me a day and a half but I finally got it done look look it's all organized I like that kind and look there's lots of space to park my vehicles. I like that kind too. So, there we go. I hung my wife's bike up there. Actually, I was a little concerned about because I didn't want to be ducking under stuff, but actually, I can walk right under it, except for right here. But, toolbox is right there, so no big deal. Put that shelf up there. Put another shelf up here that I don't even have nothing on yet. I'm gonna have to go get more stuff. Jeez. So, Oh, and guess what you get to look forward to seeing? My barbecue pit. I don't know if you saw my video where I made my little rotisserie for it. But my dad came up with a brilliant idea that he made. And so I'm going to copy off him. And you'll get to see that later. So uh, better watch for that. It's going to be freaking awesome. So, oh look too. I had stuff left. I overordered three by three sheets of plywood and a couple of fours. But, uh... The two by fours don't matter. I don't. They don't matter to me much. But uh, the three sheets of plywood. I wish I wouldn't have bought that. That's a hundred. That's like seventy-five bucks sitting there. I think or more. Oh well, I'll use it for something. Anyway, that's all I got for now. So until next time, uh, you know, take it easy. See ya.